So, fuck you. And that's how I feel about it because at the end of the day, it creates a lot of slime balls and a lot of people in this industry because yeah. they're scraping to keep a certain, you know, type of income because you got to get the views. You got to get the reactions and the interactions to keep your lifestyle going. So I just feel like I feel sorry for people that have to be that way just to eat. I eat a different way and I don't have to fuck over people to do it. So now the uh, fast bash done. Uh, we done moved over to Tyler, Texas. Yes. And uh, you had a, a nice event out there in Tyler. I seen some of yes. the uh, clips. And Mo Henry, she won. Yes. And, uh, you know, you had a few celebrities come through. And yes. uh, one of them was Rainwater. Ha! Huh? No, he didn't come. Oh, well, no, yeah. he was, <laughs> Right, right, right. He was supposed to come. Yeah. And so, so. He I blessed was, us with not showing up. Got you, got you. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, I feel like they probably done more. Then uh, <laughs> what it would have done if he'd have showed up. <laughs> because now I done heard him on, uh, was it Dallas Global Media? Yeah. And he made a mention of, you know, him supposedly being stuck in Houston and why he couldn't come to the to the show, you know. Right. Uh, but he had your $500, supposedly is what he yes. said. And um, it was supposed to be another payment once he arrived, but he never shot you back. Yo, your five, your deposit. I paid whatever. him in full. It was no back end. Okay, okay. So, so to, to elaborate on that, you know, uh, since do. since I've been doing this, <clears throat> it, he ain't the first fuck person that's don't you know. I'm gonna say fuck boy. He's not the first one that have you know. I would say reap the benefits behind me trusting, or you know me thinking that a person gonna really be like they say they are type shit because I I, I stand for what I stand for, but that's my fault with me coming in being gullible and naive to thinking that hey everybody gonna do what they say type shit you know because niggas is the worst ones to trust and i hate to say that you know but if i tell you i'm going to do something my word is my bond 100. and that's what it is i don't whether with a contract or without it you know unless it's something that happens that i cannot control and if that happens i'm going to make it right Still, I'm going to make it right. Um, but he, I never had a problem with Rainwater at all prior to Fast Bash. That's the first thing. Um, I don't, I didn't follow him on social medias to know that he was like he is. I, I learned all this really like afterwards. People like, you didn't know he was like that? I was like, no, I, I, because I, I've never had nothing bad, no bad experience with him. You understand what I'm saying? Because I met him, 03, DJ TB introduced me to both of them at the same time. So I never had a bad experience with him because I didn't deal with him. But um the artists of East Texas, when I gave them the roster for the uh, for the judges at the time, um they were like, yeah, and simply Mo was like, you need to get and she was one of the ones like you need to get rainwater down him because he needs to see we we got what well, you know we got it because he's always like they felt like he was like a condescending type of spirit always speaking down on East Texas because mm -hmm. he manages Dallas artists and right. or whatever. But always just being real negative about us, you mm -hmm. know. So I was like, yeah, I want rainwater. Like, yeah. So I reached out to him and he said, yeah, let's work. He claimed he was on a plane that day. I said, well, I'm only paying $500 because you live right there in Dallas. Is, is, are you going to accept that? <laughs> he said, yes. So I immediately, I said, let me go on and pay that now because that's how I am. If I got it right then, I just rather go on and get it done, secure you and be over with. Wow. Not, you know, and I don't, a contract is text messages. So I have a written contract mm -hmm. by I, you know, this yeah. way. But I'm not, you know, when I talk to people about lawsuits and stuff like that, he's not worth my time. To, to $500, you ruin a relationship and a, a business partnership or whatever it could have been behind $500, you know. And I feel like you must have really needed it. But you could have asked me for it. I might would have doubled it. Man. But at the end of the day, you know, I had it then. You know, but at, at, the, at the end of the day, he accepted the job. And right. his intentions was never to show up if you ask me, you know. And yes, the hurricane or whatever happened, but that weather didn't start to Sunday. Everybody <laughs> chases more. <laughs> and you know, I'm a real good judge of character. That's why when me and you talked over the phone, yeah. And I feel like you a good judge of character as well. Yeah. But when me and you talked over the phone, we locked in because I was like, okay, this spirit right here is a spirit that we probably have met somewhere yeah. else. And that's probably <laughs> why I feel like we know each other. And I say that to say, I have never had any dealings with Rainwater. You know, 
Uh, but just off of his interviews that I've seen, uh, just hearing him him talk, just out of the horse's mouth, he kind of just seemed like a snake, to be honest. He he seemed like he kind of uh, sneaky. And um, I heard him mention about he started out in East Texas, so he, he loved East Texas. I feel like if you ask me, he loved to get money out of East Texas. That part. And he ain't going to put nothing back into East Texas. He's a know? manipulative narcissist. OK, and for anybody to treat somebody like me that really spoke highly of you everywhere I went, you know, and I just wouldn't damage that with somebody that genuinely was a good person to me. I, first of all, you you young enough to be my son, nigga. And I don't I have no even intentions towards anybody I come into contact with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like even if you decided not to come, all he had to do was say, hey, I'm going to be able to make it. You and know, I felt like he wasn't so, going. I felt like he didn't have any intentions on coming. He, the, how, how he answered the question yeah. in, in the interview, he didn't have no intentions. You know, he had excuses and all that. And he could have just shot you back your money and all, you know. But Well, I think he keeps his algorithm going with, with having negative shit going on. So mm -hmm. I was an opportunity for him to get his internet up again or whatever the case may be because he know. He studied me. That's the thing. He probably y'all know me, so yeah, he, yeah, oh, we know I'm gonna get a reaction out of her because she's gonna come after me if I do X Y Z. Yeah. So if you're already in a slow lane, you know, or you're <laughs> already, you know, this is what you're doing now to get your money. You know what I'm saying? Is mm -hmm. go to these interviews or I don't I don't get my living off of that shit. So I don't have to be a slimy grind ball to get views and ratings and shit. I ain't never been paid off of this shit as far as the internet. So my outlook on this shit is not like the like them niggas. Because see, yeah. they eat off of that. Right, right. I eat a different way. So if I'm on here, I don't. I, I've had people in the industry say, "Well, you don't want to do this because because what? You niggas ain't paying me. Well, because what? I can I could be me because I don't have to look for you niggas to do shit for me. So fuck you. And that's how I feel about it. Because at the end <laughs> of the day, it creates a lot of slime balls and a lot of fuck people in this industry because yeah. they're scraping to keep a certain, you know, type of income because you got to get the views, you got to get the reactions and the interactions to keep your lifestyle going. So I just feel like I feel sorry for people that have to be that way just to eat. I eat a different way and I don't have to fuck over people to do it, you know, and that's just what it is. And, you know, I'm going through shit in real life right now, fighting cases with these feds and shit, and I still ain't a grimy ass nigga. And Man. I'm facing a lot of years. People don't know that. You're the first one to hear that. Man. You know, so it's, it's you know, and I, I just still can never be grimy. <laughs> and I don't regret nothing I've done. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like everything I've done, I've done from my heart and it was God driven. And I don't do things without getting permission from him.